In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to set up a PTZ camera in the DVR software. Uh, the first thing that you're going to need to do is click settings here at the bottom and then click PTZ alarm. And we, we're only concerned with this first section up here where it says PTZ setup. Um, you can choose which one of the cameras you have your PTZ camera connected to. In this case, we're going to we're going to choose camera one. PTZ protocol. This is going to vary depending on the camera that you're using. If you purchased your camera from us, uh, this protocol is going to be Pelco D, and then in parentheses the letter H. You'll see other options here: uh, Pelco P. Panasonic, Pelco D, but uh, for for those of you who have purchased a camera from us, you want to use Pelco dash D parentheses H. Uh, if you if you're using a different camera and you've made settings on that camera for the protocol and the baud rate, you need to match those settings up with what's in these two drop down boxes. So. For most of the PTZ cameras that we sell, the protocol is going to be Pelco D, and you're going to have to, the parentheses H is what's going to allow uh, the presets to work properly in the software. And for the bar rate, again, if you purchase your camera from us, this is going to be set to 2400. PTZ port, typically this is going to be set to COM1 if you're installing your DVR cards into a computer that you built yourself or it was pre-built if if you're if you're reinstalling the software on a DVR server that was purchased from us though uh, you need to choose COM2 instead of COM1 uh, our DVR servers have multiple uh, COM ports which are serial ports RS-232 ports and our DVR servers are set to communicate with the RS-232 port that is identified on the motherboard as COM port 2. So, again, if you put the card in your own system, use COM1. If you're reinstalling the software or configuring it for a server that was purchased from us, then you want to make sure this is set to COM2. Uh, PTZ address. Um, on our cameras, by default, the address is set to 1. On any PTZ camera, uh, usually there's a set of dip switches or some some sort of uh, so, some something on the camera that allows you to designate its PTZ address. So you want this number here to match whatever the number is for the PTZ address that you assign to the camera. Uh, again, on our on our basic PTZ camera, uh, by default, is set to one. So. And for PTZ position, you can usually leave this on normal. Um, sometimes, depending on the type of PTZ camera, the way that it's mounted, the image may be presented upside down. So you could choose inverse to position the image so that it's right side up. And that's it for the settings for the camera. You, you want to go ahead and click Save and Return. It will take you back to the main screen and to control the PTZ and usually usually by default th these controls are up to control the PTZ camera you would so you select the square representing the PTZ camera in our case it's camera one it's his first square and then press the PTZ control button and then you can use these controls to control the location of the camera and the iris, the focus, the zoom. It's, it's really important that you select the camera though so that it's highlighted in red. If you click here and then you turn these, you, you make adjustments to these controls, nothing's going to happen because these controls only affect the camera that is, that, that is connected to this particular square of video on the screen. Since we don't have a PTZ camera connected to this square, these controls aren't going to be doing anything, but in this particular square, those controls will be relevant since a PTZ camera is connected there.